Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my DNS lab. This lab is actually a test environment where I am showing you how I back up my DNS zone and how I will restore back. But after backing up, I will delete a record. So you should see that once I delete a record, how I bring that record back. So zone name, as you can see, ny1.com the records on the right side of the zone you can see I can use a DNS a CMD command from the PowerShell where you can back up your zone so you have to just export the zone and the zone name the location what you see right now is under my system root system32 and DNS folder that is where this zone will be backed up so here you see that command completed successfully my zone has been back backed up now now you can see here zone is available and y1.com.dns.bak i am going to make a new folder as a precaution and i will save this zone again as an additional copy so here i am making this a folder additional zone copy I am copying this zone directly leaving the original zone as it is and I'm going to paste that now uh, this is a standard uh, zone but also this is an integrated zone so let's go ahead and look at uh, that how we can back up integrated zone so that will be your uh, second command here so you can run the same command back but you have to use underscore msdcs as a zone name appending ny1.com same thing for the backup so nothing changed except msdcs so that is where we have our uh, root zone available as an integrated zone so this is my regular zone and this is my integrated zone here you can see my DC domain, global catalog, PDC emulator. So I am going to look at that this zone is integrated. So you click on the change, see the checkbox on the, on the, on the bottom. So this is integrated zone. Also my uh, MSDCS and they both have the same position. So here let's back up. Uh, location is same. You see that it pops up right on the system root system 32 DNS folder so as a best practice i can copy this as well and paste back into this folder in this way i have an additional copy available for my regular dns zone and my integrated dns zone all right so now let's delete a record msdtc okay let's take this record out uh, this record is from my sql server but i know i will bring it back my zone is already backed up so I'm going to remove this zone I mean this record from the zone and zone as well okay so now you can see that the record is missing from the zone under nv1.com so let's look at the record the one I was missing actually into the zone backed up file it should be available under my backup file so this is my zone backup file and record is right there msdtc so that is the record I deleted from the DNS so what I want here I want this record back because something happened to my DNS uh, or I lost some records I want to have that record back so let's delete the zone first make sure that you have a backup in production uh, this is a test environment so I don't care what I do here but uh, in real life environment yes you might want to have your a system state backup your server backup your full dns backup your uh, normal backup whatever uh, is the company policy now i am going to delete my integrated zone as well underscore msdcn dot my zone name now i don't have anything here good and working so my active directory is ruined all uh, functionality or functionalities are not working but uh, I'm going to now create a new zone and zone will be the same nv1.com because I'm restoring now actually so here I'm gonna use second option use the existing file because you see that file name I have to change the name 
So I will remove BAK because I have original backup in my additional zone copy folder. So I am going to remove the BAK extension and use the same name. I will leave it unintegrated into Active Directory. I will integrate later on. And now my zone is back. My all records are back. So now you can go and look at the properties. You cannot have a secure update because you uh, need to integrate in uh, back zone into Active Directory integration to get the secure only option. Now I have secure only option backup. Uh, now I need to go back to restore the integrated zone as well underscore ms dcs but see the record is back now because this record was part of my uh, backed up file so i restored the backup file backed up file that's why i have it now i'm going to change now again extension uh, from bak so again run the same wizard new zone and this zone name will be for example this is a primary zone so zone name will be underscore starting with the underscore msdcs so that was the original uh, zone is which was deleted so now again i have to choose my existing file with the same integrated zone and i will leave default options here just take a look once more make sure that i did not check the box for integration because I want to do it separately so you can see how this worked. Okay, now I can go and integrate this zone back into Active Directory. So I can choose a secure only option as well. Otherwise, I cannot choose the secure only option. Okay, now I'm choosing my secure only option, the last one, the bottom one, and applying it. All right, now refresh it. Now I am back where I was and I will see everything will sync in a while, but uh, that is how you uh, restore back your DNS zone. So I removed ZN DNS and then I added it back. I have my missing record available. I have MSDCS is available. I have my ny1.com zone is available and anything is left over for sync. It will take a while, but I will be able to go back into Active Directory. That's supposed to be working. My missing record is here. MS DTC, that was the A host record with IP ending 115. That is backed back into my DNS. So now my Active Directory functionality should be working. My DNS is good. This is my Active Directory. Let me close and open again. And I will be seeing the console with no issues. So my Active Directory is back. All right. So looks everything is good. Thank you very much. Bye.